The mantis shrimp, or stomatopod, is neither mantis nor shrimp, and despite being a very common creature, is absolutely fascinating. Hi, I'm Danielle Dufault, and you're watching Animal Logic. There are over 400 known species of mantis shrimp, ranging from the fabulous peacock shrimp, or Odontodactylus solaris, to the less fabulous Velcro mantis, or Corisquilla tweedii. They live mostly in tropical and subtropical shallows in the Pacific Ocean, and depending on the species, they can be anywhere between 6 millimeters and 38 centimeters long. Stomatopods or mantis shrimp spend most of their lives in burrows and holes, which they keep very clean as they're incredibly meticulous. Since they spend a lot of their lives hiding, we don't know a whole lot about them, but what we have learned about them is absolutely mind-blowing. Most mantis shrimp can be divided into two categories of hunting, smashers and spearers. Smashers, as the name suggests, have clubs on the end of their raptorial arms which they use to smash open clams, crabs, oysters, and other hard-shelled creatures. Spearers, on the other hand, have, shocker, barbed spears on the end of their arms, which they use to spear softer things like fish. This already sounds really cool, but like we'll see, everything with the mantis shrimp just keeps on getting cooler. The arms on the mantis shrimp, when striking, move at 20 meters per second or 45 miles per hour. The smasher delivers over 200 pounds of force on impact and moves so quickly it literally tears the water apart. Upon impact, it creates what's called a cavitation. It causes areas of very low pressure which vaporizes the water in a bubble. The bubble collapses almost instantly, emitting a burst of sound, light and heat that can reach between 5 and 10,000 Kelvin hotter than the surface of the sun. The same phenomenon triples engineers when designing boat propellers because cavitation bubbles are so powerful they can tear holes through a metal propeller. More interesting than this phenomenon, however, is maybe that a rainbow-colored crustacean can do it. Basically, they contract their muscles, pulling the arms back, then a latch mechanism locks the contracted arm in place. And when they release the latch, all of that contracted force is released at once. But that's not all. Because of course it's not. In order to have a strike as powerful as a 22 caliber bullet, it needs something more. Researchers have discovered a saddle-shaped section on the arm that works as a hyperbolic paraboloid, which is basically a saddle-shaped surface that is incredibly strong, especially under compression. This design can be found in architecture and jewelry making, two fields where using less material is ideal. And more importantly, in the design of the Pringle. The spring-loaded mechanism allows for the power to break through clamshells, hunt crabs by ripping off their limbs, and occasionally break through aquarium glass. Not to mention that they have the fastest measured feeding strike of any animal. Sidebar, mantis shrimp would be amazing at dead space. Just think of all the dismembering glory. Well, until you, you know, tear a hole through the hull. But it's not just their arms that are fascinating. Mantis shrimp have some of the most elaborate eyes ever discovered. The stomatopod's eyes are mounted on mobile stalks that can rotate 70 degrees. Each of their eyes perceives objects with three parts of the same eye, giving them trinocular vision in each eye and excellent depth perception. Human color perception is attributed to three photoreceptors in our retina that give us access to see a narrow band of wavelengths on the electromagnetic spectrum. And the mantis shrimp has between 12 and 16. A new study from the University of Queensland in Australia suggests that mantis shrimp may not actually see that many more colors than us, and that the increased number of cones is because they process the colors in their eyes rather than sending the information back to the brain like we do. Mantis shrimp can also detect ultraviolet light and see polarized light, which is the direction in which light vibrates. The need for this is unclear, but some theories include using it for subtle, secret sexual signaling, as well as detecting movement and positioning of prey and predators by their reflective scales. Their eyes are so good at detecting polarized light that researchers hope to use them to develop an imaging system that uses polarized light to detect cancer. That's right, the deadly, rainbow, not shrimp glory of the ocean might help us create and improve non-invasive cancer detecting technologies. So as always, what animals should I check out next? Please let me know in the comments and be sure to subscribe for new episodes of Animal Logic every week. Thanks for watching.